Deutsch in his book, The Brain That Changes Itself, talks about two different pleasure systems. One is the exciting system and the other is a satisfying system. And he mentions that porn actually hypersensitizes the exciting system but really does absolutely nothing for the satisfying system. Mm. Uh, what's your comments about that? That's an interesting point because I think in many ways there may actually be three systems rather than just two. There's the exciting system, which is sort of that, that fire that I talked about a bit earlier, where there's this energy that's being generated, this desire that's being cultivated for, for, uh, for the partner, or unfortunately in pornography, for just the experience of seeing lots of images and the, uh, the arousal that comes with that. The second is uh, the, the reality of, of the satisfying. That, uh, that satisfying, if you understand it alone, is really just means that the need's been met. And so, you know, when you're, when you're hungry and you eat something, your body says, okay, I'm satisfied, I can, I can stop eating. And, and in many ways, that's what happens in, in, in an intimate encounter between two people when they're sexually intimate with each other, is that there's a point where they're satisfied and there's that, that place where they feel that the need has been met. But a, a third element of the sexual encounter that's a little bit different from, uh, from what you see with food or, or something along those lines, is that there's also a bonding that occurs in that process as well. And so it's not just enough to be satisfied because in, in, a, in a sexual encounter, the point is yes to be aroused and for there to be energy exchange and there's great power in life that can be generated in that. And that's certainly true. So the, the arousal system is going during that. And then there's a place where that's met and that's accepted. And, and there's that, uh, as, as a brain researcher, I'd call that satiety, right? You've satisfied the drive. And so, uh, so there's another system that's involved in that and there's hormones that are released in that process. But it's not just enough to be satisfied and then move on to the next meal. You don't want to do that. Whether you don't just want to move on to the next partner. There's this bonding element as well, that you were to be bound to your partner. And as you are bound more and more to your partner, the level of intimacy goes a lot deeper. You know, the person who is promiscuous, who's you know having one night stands with multiple partners, they get satisfied. They just get satisfied with the next partner. But what happens is that that ability to be satisfied in that moment is met, but the deeper form of satisfaction that can only come with true intimate bonding, that's really, I think, where he's, he just offers a little yeah. bit on that, but it's that, that bonding that occurs between two people that at the end of the day, porn just offers kind of a sweet taste that may satisfy you in that moment, but doesn't satisfy this deeper need for this intimate connection. Yeah.